good evening friends do you have stress in your life are you suffering from stress do you want to know about uh, uh, stress management and how to reduce stress and if the answer to this question is yes then you are at the right place this video and my book mind your stress will definitely help you out from this situation good evening all hello friends i am dr suresh suryoshi i am an interventional cardiologist i am an heart specialist a super specialist a doctor i am currently practicing in nasik maharashtra india i am in a medical field over last 18 years i am a yoga teacher also i have done my diploma in yogic education and diploma in yogic science and i am a passionate author also i hope published two books till date in 2017 i have published my health 365 health diary and uh, recently on 3rd of july i have published my book which is mind your stress and only you can reduce your own stress it is a stress management book for your health and happiness so today we'll be discussing about this uh, important issue in everybody's life that is a stress and its management and regarded in this book so friends stress is a very important topic why i wrote this uh, book one thing so and why this topic of stress management i'm practicing cardiologist and heart specialist doctor in my experience of over 18 years i found uh, we we uh, encountered many patients and most of the patients they were having stress in their lives initially i used to talk on health and heart attack and heart attack management and on different lifestyle diseases like high blood pressure diabetes obesity and many of those type over initially 4 5 years i realized that most of these lifestyle diseases even heart attack and strokes they got their they are precipitated by and partially caused by stress even the scientific modern medical research shows that more than 90% of the <coughs> diseases they have roots in mind and are caused by stress so after those four five years i i realized this and then i started taking lectures on the stress and its management to the common public to the corporate to the colleges and then i developed a, a interest in this then i started my basic Uh, information gathering and research and i started enjoying the topic i thought health and stress are the biggest uh, problems of the world and we should do something about of this so when i used to talk uh, then i used to talk on uh, doctors health and stress management also we doctors and medical field professionals are stressed out covid-19 pandemic has increased the stress to many folds so i used to talk on doctors health and their stress management also so over the real years i realized that in a lecture or in a talk a talk i used i can cater 50 people 100 people maximum to 300 people so i thought this important topic is to be discussed i thought we need to share this very important information to the most of the people and we need to reach the masses so i thought of writing a book so that we can uh, this book is very useful for each and everybody this is useful to me this is useful to you and this is use, uh, useful to 7.9 billion people in the world i personally feel that's why the idea of writing on a stress uh, writing on a book came into my mind and we all know stress is an important factor in everybody's life and uh, stress in our modern lives has increased many fold because of the increase in the speed of our life we are all running continuously at a higher speed 
without clearly knowing the destination awaiting an accident there is a famous saying by mahatma gandhi that there is more to life than increasing its speed we need to slow down look at our lives surrounding people and the nature and this is the reason the book is here this goes hand in hand with our vision of making people healthy happy and stress free if you address this stress issue many of our physical and mental problems in the lives can be tackled easily and that's why this book i wrote this book which is released recently on 3rd of july and it's published by adhyan publications so if you see Uh, this book is beautifully written and uh, this book uh, explains you different aspects of stress what is stress what are the different causes of stress different statistics of stress national international statistics how what is the physiology of stress how stress really affects the different organs of the body how it affects the physical health how it affects the mental health what are the signs symptoms of stress and how stress uh, causes the impact on the body and mind it also nicely uh, explains the different uh, abnormal coping behaviors like addiction and all it has very nicely explained the social media and stress technology and stress and the concept of writing a stress journal which is very important in first uh, identifying the reasons for stress timing of for stress acknowledging stress and then doing the corrective measures on the stress manage- management it very meticulously has mentioned about the different stress management strategies which we'll see in a brief in the letter part it has mentioned the different relaxation strategies and most important is a time management and different there are different tips for happiness how you lead a very happy and successful life they are all included in this book so it is a whole, it is a complete package it is a complete book on stress management stress and its management so in this book there are few important stress management type, tra- uh, strategies they are mentioned so to discuss few there are four a's of stress management strategies these four a's are first a is avoid unnecessary stress second is alter the situation if possible third is adapt to the stressor and fourth is accept the things which we can't change accept the people accept the situation as they are and take appropriate action for the them then it has beautifully mentioned about how to say le, how to say no in most of the situation we are not able to say no or we are afraid to say no but uh, you need to learn to say no without offending the person in front of you then uh, as we all know perfectionism is a major cause of avoidable stress so we should avoid perfectionism it has mentioned about 100% accuracy syndrome that are discussed in a greater detail in this book and uh, strategies of laugh and let go that is practice of forgiveness is also mentioned in the books adopt you need to adopt a forgive and forget attitude for a better stress management and that is a doggy strategy doggy strategy means if you can't eat it if you can't play with it then just be on it and go away so that is what is the strategy there is another strategy of compartmentalization so this compartmentalization means you should avoid multitasking if you got a four five works to be done then you need to if you got four five problems or works to be done you need to take one work one job at a time you need to open the compartment put your 100% on that job do best possible thing 
and solve the problem do the complete the job and once it is done or the work once it is done we need to close the compartment so you need to open the compartment do the job do the work to your best level and then close the compartment one work or job at a time you need not should not be doing multitasking that is what is called as compartmentalization and there is a beautiful strategy mentioned is the ventilation ventilation means you need to express you need to release your feeling don't go on uh, storing those it may not be solving all your most of your problems but it may relieve you out of lot of stress it relieve yourself from lot of stress and different strategies for fun and relaxation are mentioned in this book so there is a beautiful uh, there are many strategies where are very useful it uh, then in this book there are many relaxation technique so in a stress management usually there are two approaches they are used for stress management if there is a problem and if you can solve the problem then there is something called a problem solving mechanism or a strategy so if there is a problem you need to identify the problem accept the problem acknowledge the problem and try to solve the problem if the problem is solved it is done so your job is done and stress is relieved if you cannot solve the problem if the pro problem or a situation is not in your control you can't change it then you need to uh, uh, you need to manage it emotionally so there is something called emotional coping approach or emotional coping strategies in that various mind body techniques various relaxation techniques they come into play so in this book as being a yoga teacher we have very in great depth mentioned these different uh, mind body techniques like yoga pranayama meditation then uh, different uh, music therapies and aroma therapies and massage techniques they are all mentioned in this book so different uh, relaxation techniques are mentioned so there is a famous quote by dalai lama if a problem is a fixable then there is no need to worry if a, if the problem is not fixable then there is no point in worrying there is no benefit in worrying whatsoever and i feel it is very very true in our day to day life this this, this there are hundreds of book on, uh, on this uh, self help care and stress management but i personally feel and i personally know that the, the, the this is one of the best book which is there in the market it has got a very sim simple language updated scientific information there are practical tips and expert advices and there are proven and effective stress management methods are mentioned in this book and there is adequate use of a humor and cartoons related to stress and its management it has included the best possible stress codes in the world so it has got more value than its price this book will surely change your life for better that's the reason we all should read this book this book has definitely made changes uh, in me it has changed me over a journey of this 2 3 years and i am sure that uh, this book will definitely help you tackle the stress and change your life completely personally i feel there are six most important things that will help in reducing stress from your life So there are six i personally feel six important uh, things if you address those i think the stress can be in your control and you will be able to manage that the first could be a uh, gratitude and positive affirmation then uh, second is a remaining on a response track rather than a reaction track third is adopting healthy therapeutic lifestyle fourth is a uh, awareness of time and its better management with the different strategies so time management is the fourth way fifth way is adopting mindfulness in life by controlling it by yoga pranayama and meditation and fourth moderation in everything what you do in life 
so i personally feel these are the six strategies which will help in reducing stress from your life so we'll just briefly discuss about these strategies so as we discussed first is a gratitude and positive affirmation so appreciate with gratitude the god's biggest and best creation that is you and the surrounding nature and the whole universe we all know universe is such a such a such a huge thing in this universe we are a very small creature on a, our beautiful planet earth we are 7.9 billion people on the earth and then we got lot of animals plants nature and huge uh, system on the earth and earth is one of the very minuscule very small planet in the whole universe there are multiple planets and then we got multiple stars and there is a sun and moon and there is a solar system and there are multiple solar system and there are milky ways and so on and so forth so universe is such a huge that we are very small person in that and we are having so much of stress so much of ego in that so we should just appreciate and thank the creator the universe the god that we should be thankful to them for what we are there if you if you get up in the morning and if you are alive you should thank god because 2.5 like people they die in the night also so if you are able to live life if you are alive if you if you are able to have a good food if you got a shelter on your head if you have a vehicle to go around you are you should you are better than most of the people in the world so that is how you should have a very uh, we should uh, have a gratitude towards the god's uh, god or the supreme power or a creator we should have a positive affirmations in thoughts and words because that that uh, gives you a good positive uh, frequency higher frequency and the whole of the your day and the life will be uh, uh, will be having a positive impact and the stress will be lesser in your life after the gratitude and a positive affirmation second important thing is i think uh, is we should be on a response track rather than a reaction track okay so in any problem or in any situation the situation or a problem is only a small part of the story it is how you respond to that how you act in that situation is actually determines the outcome of the situation so it is not a stress that kills us it is our reaction to it this is a famous quote by hans seile so there is a important formula of a event response event and response response to the event determines the outcome in any situation so there is some event and how we respond to the event determines the outcome of a situation we all know uh, a small example we can take about the uh, traffic in uh, our city if you are you got in the morning as if you got stuck in a traffic uh, in one of the uh, corners of a city then how you respond to that determines the stress level a person uh, like me can easily say okay okay fine it's, it's, it's you uh, uh, you just have to accept that you just have to relax there you need you can listen a good song there you just observe the people there and forget that so this is uh, one person can re- react in this fashion uh, respond in this fashion another person can get irritated he will go on uh blasting the government and the traffic people traffic police and the other people there and he'll spoil his mood another person can go on shouting and can blame himself for getting late and all those things so it is how you respond to that situation is very important to that so so uh there are three ways we can have a response and uh, these are you uh, your thoughts your words and your behavior so if you if you have a control on your thoughts your words and behavior then the response is better you got a point 
so a response is a controlled reply after thinking by our mind at a brain level so in a medicine we call it as a cerebral level so you think over the situation and then you act accordingly by thinking it's a controlled reply reaction is a sudden and it is uncontrolled reply without thinking and we call it at the spinal cord level spinal level that is called as a reflex action so what happens in life is most of the time we are on a reaction track we don't think before talking or doing something we think after talking or doing something okay actually we need to think at least uh, 10 times before talking promising committing or doing something and don't think after talking and doing that exactly reverse we do so even if you follow one of even if you follow this one thing of remaining on a response track rather than a re reaction track from this book it will reduce the stress and change your life completely so response track take a time think 10 times and then do a action there okay third important strategy i personally feel is adopting a healthy therapeutic lifestyle what do you mean by healthy lifestyle we all know these things this day in and day out we all hear from we have read we we are hearing from the experts so uh, we need to exercise regularly then we need to have a healthy eating then we need to sleep adequately at least six to eight hours of sleep is what uh, that is what is required we need to get up early in the morning which is very important brahma mode is very very important uh, time to get up in the morning we should avoid addictions if they are there we need to stop these different addictions we need to smile a lot we need to laugh more keep a smiling face we all all know laughter is the best med medicine so use of humor smile and laugh will definitely help in a better lifestyle and it will help in reducing the stress from your life and a fourth important strategy i personally feel is a time management so awareness of a time and its better management with different strategies will definitely reduce stress from your life so this book has def uh, beautifully explained the parkinson's law of time and inquiry's rule of a time it has mentioned the psychology of a time and there are different ways of effective scheduling and there are different ways of prioritization and uh, how to have a flexibility while doing any work and uh, it has in a great depth that uh, discussed the procrastination its types what it is and what are its problems of dealing the things <clears throat> and an important strategy of a delegation what to delegate and what not to delegate which work is to be done by your subordinates and which should be work done by yourself <clears throat> fifth important aspect of a stress management i personally feel is adopting a mindfulness in life by controlling the mind by yoga pranayama and meditation so mindfulness is a fifth important strategy here we all know mind is a monkey in a, in an average person in a daily 24 hours 60000 thoughts they come in your mind in a day we all know what kind of thoughts they are 80% thoughts are negative thoughts <clears throat> unless you control your mind you won't be able to live a stress free and happy life so there is a famous quote by buddha gautam buddha live in the present and be grateful for what you have living too much in the future creates anxiety stress worry and unease while living too much in the past creates guilt regret bitterness and sadness and i personally feel it is absolutely important to be living in the present and to be awareness of a present situation and a sixth and a final importance uh, thing which i feel very important for stress management is a moderation in everything in your life so moderation in eating moderation in exercising moderation in talking moderation in thinking moderation in use of a social media and technology moderation in working 
So uh, all these aspects of a life, you need to control them and do in moderation. Moderation is key. Moderation in drinking is also very important. So anything excess will spoil the the situation there. So moderation in most of the things that you do in life is very important for a stress management. So friends, finally, I want to tell you something. The biggest problem in the world is only you, man. We try to change all the things in our lives except ourselves. We need to only change our thoughts, our mindset, and we will see different peaceful and beautiful world around you. Remember, we need to remember to live on a human time, not on a computer and technology time. We need to recharge ourselves regularly. Our life is like a prepaid card with a limited validity. We need to, uh, don't take life seriously. Just enjoy it and be happy. I wish you all happy reading. I, I personally feel that this book is very important for you, me and everybody in the world. And I wish you a happy, healthy and stress-free life. Thank you very much for a patient listening. Good day. Thanks a lot.